Hello everyone, it's Alexo again, and there's one key thing I want to mention as well, because people sometimes fuck this up a lot, and it helps you so much if you set up your stash tabs properly, right? And there is really only one good method to do this in my eyes, from what I've discovered, playing around with it. Initially, I, I sorted them by levels. So I knew, okay, I'm level 30 now, I can go into level 30 and look at the items I can use with my old characters. No, no, what you want to do is, you want to sort them by type because later in legendary crafting like this one for example you have this muramas hilt for example this had three legendary potential on it it's a relic so i don't want to go through all the levels and see okay where the fuck is now a good relic i can use that fits that i just want to go straight to exalts with relics exalted relics and i can go through here i can type in okay i want to have damage oh damage damage over time now I have all these. Now I can look. Okay. Winning damage. Fine. Dexterity. Okay. Take this one. And necrotic damage. Okay. Now I have these here. And then I go into the Temporal Sanctum Dungeon. And then I go with crafting. I put more. Before she's up even more. But that's the idea. You want to focus your stash tabs towards the end game. With crafting. Because. These legendary items. Are what really fire up your builds. Many times over. Especially in the late game. Like this thing is insane. 180% curse damage. For my Cophonic Fissure and stuff. And 80% increased damage over time, and health, and potion have converted to ward. This one is insane. Insanely good. And this was only possible because I didn't have to scroll through all these stash apps, especially if you play this game for a bunch of years. You will have a ton of these. And you gotta put some sort of um, method into this. And an easy thing to do this, by the way, if, for example, you have... For example, right now you have everything in one thing. Let's say you have all the idols... Um, for example, class idols, right? I have rogue, I uh, rogue idols, I have sentinel idols, I have all these. So what you want to do is... Put this in here. An easy thing to do is if you make a stash tab that says major idols like I have. And then you go here and you just shift right click all the idols for the mage. In this case it's private list, but that's fine. You put them in your inventory. And you go into your other stash that has all the primal list, all the sets primal list. And then you just go right click again and put them all in there. Gonna do this here because that fucks up my stash but this makes it much easier so you don't have to go here click this drag in and click there you can just right click that's way faster okay because you can can tell if i go here i just can right click these in no problem that's way easier to do it and you will have to go through this once or you can do it every now and then start with your your one handles or your with your uniques for example and then start with your exalts you will spend a lot of money or gold on stash tabs but this is really the only thing you really need gold for stash tabs and respecking but unless you're respecking every day you really won't run out and won't run out of money with that this is what's really expensive is the stash tabs the next one for me is i think 180,000 gold so uh, and that's a lot of gold you have to spend on that so keep hoarding your gold for your stash tabs and um don't do the what's it called the Lightless Arbor Dungeon, at the end, this is really useless. I, I never do this. Maybe in Tier 4, but... Because there you can spend all your gold, but it's kind of pointless. You'd rather spend it on Stash Tab, set this up properly so you can craft your legendaries properly later. It also makes it so much easier to look through for your build. Like, if you see you have this, okay, I want to have a better weapon. But it has to be a one-hander. You go to your one-handers and you type in, in the search bar what you're searching for, physical damage, damage over time, whatever it is. Makes it so much easier and faster to go through this. Instead, you have to click through all these stash tabs. Take some time to do this. Trust me, it makes your life so much better when you're playing this game. Um, this helps a lot to keep order and overlook over what you're doing in this game. So, yeah, let me know in the comments how your stash tabs look like. Maybe you have a better system as well, and let me know that. Um, this is by no means, I'm without fault, I'm not claiming that, but this has worked best for me so far. So let me know what you're doing, and I will see you in the next video. And like and subscribe, and join my streams. Thank you.